where are we going to find the people for all of these, these factories we're building and the R&D labs that we're building? And when you look in the Midwest, there is an awful lot of talent here. Now, how did Purdue become such a global leader in this space? Walk us through that. Well, we have a very long history in this space. Um, you know, we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of the invention of the transistor this year. And that's the basic building block of all electronic systems. A chip can contain as many as 100 billion transistors these days. And it was invented 75 years ago at Bell Labs, Bell Telephone Labs. Um, but Purdue was a hotbed of semiconductor research before that, in the 1930s and 1940s. The techniques that Bell Labs learned to grow high quality semiconductor crystals, they learned from Bell Labs. So we, we go back a, a long time. The most common transistor that is used these days is called a silicon MOSFET. Uh, that was demonstrated for the first time in 1959 at Bell Labs by a Purdue alum, wow. Mohammed Atala, uh, a uh, mechanical engineering alumni. So we've been, uh, we've been teaching semiconductor courses since the late 1960s. We've been a major supplier of talent to the semiconductor industry for decades. Uh, the research and innovation has been important. So every Tesla automobile has 48 silicon carbide power MOSFETs in it. That transistor was invented at Purdue, was demonstrated in the Cypress lab inside the Burke Nanotechnology Center by Jim Cooper, a faculty member here. So we have, a, we have a very long history in semiconductors. What do you think would happen if Purdue wasn't doing this research? Others would, right? <laughs> Other, others would step up. We probably have one of the largest concentrations of, of uh, semiconductor faculty of any university in the nation. And you know, it's, it's more challenging uh, to do this kind of work. You need expensive laboratory facilities like the Burke Nanotechnology Center. So it makes it difficult for many universities to really to have a substantial presence in this field. We're one of the few.